Catching violent criminals, it's a tough job for police. But tonight, some are questioning some controversial technology being used by the Baltimore City Police Department. Christian Schaefer now with more tonight from City Police. Well, city police call it cell site simulator technology. I just got off the phone with an attorney from the ACLU of Maryland, and he believes the use of this technology is a clear violation of the Fourth Amendment rights of criminal defendants, the Fourth Amendment protecting against unreasonable searches and seizures. City police held a news conference today attempting to downplay anything controversial about the device, which is sometimes called a stingray. And what it does is intercept cell phone signals and then mask itself as a cell phone tower. That gives police the exact location of a cell phone they're looking for and, of course, the person who is carrying it. Police confirm they have used the technology 4,300 times since 2007, 4,300 uses. The ACLU attorney told me that is many times more than any other jurisdiction he has ever heard of. Police say they're using the technology, though, in compliance with state law. They say it does not allow them to record calls or see texts or emails or get on phones and get personal information. We cannot store or archive any of the information that we find. We cannot hear phone calls. It does not search the phone. It does not give us subscriber information. It does not pull texts, emails, or photos. In short, it's simply a guidepost. It gives us an arrow towards finding violent criminals who have caused violent action in our city. Another important part of the story is that city police had signed a non-disclosure agreement with the FBI agreeing not to talk about this technology even if it came up in a court case. Now the police spokesman today would not talk about that arrangement at the news conference, but the effect was that in many cases, instead of having to talk about the stingray in open court, prosecutors would simply push for a plea deal. The ACLU attorney called that agreement, quote, outrageous. In effect, the nation's chief law enforcement agency directing local police to not tell defendants how they gathered the evidence that led them to be charged with the crime. We'll have much more on what he has to say in that reaction coming up tonight on ABC 2 News at 11.